And you know how in fish stories, there's always one that, that got away, and of course, there's no video of it? Well, not this time. Scientists are pretty excited about this fish caught on a deep sea camera, saying this unknown sailfish species was recorded at a depth of more than five miles underwater. That is a new record for the deepest fish ever filmed. It looks like it doesn't have any scales. Those fins look kind of like wings swimming through the, the black abyss down there. Researchers found the fish near the bottom of one of the world's deepest trenches off the coast of Japan. The team has been working on that discovery for 15 years. And just to quickly give you a perspective on how deep we are talking, Mount Everest, the tallest mountain peak on Earth, is just over 29,000 feet above sea level. This discovery was made at over 27,000 feet below sea level. Let's bring in wildlife expert and biologist Forrest Gal Galante. Uh, uh, Forrest, how big of a deal is this weird looking fella there? Well, Gotti, it's a pretty big deal because this is the deepest we've ever seen life on planet Earth. So to know that there are fish down there, to know that there are organisms thriving without any photosynthetic impact without the light penetrating and allowing them to regenerate is a huge deal. It's sort of like studying an alien, really. <laughs> and Forrest, look, I'm a, kind of a big fan of your podcast. I know you and this guy, Patrick, sometimes will combine yeah. animals to, to fight each other. I thought of that when I saw this fish. I was like, uh, this is like a hairless cat um, meets a bat meets, uh, I don't know, like an eel or something. When you see this thing, like, it doesn't look like a fish, right? What do you see? No, it's a bizarre looking creature. And snailfish are just very unique. As a deep water specialist, you know, they have skeletal reductions. Their bodies are made up almost entirely of water. They have these very odd tendrils and small eyes because obviously there's not much to see down there. And so they really are like an otherworldly creature that looks like some amalgamation of all kinds of species shoved into one to make this crazy looking animal. How would you describe it, pop quiz? <laughs> uh, if I were to look at that, I would say it's got the head of a French bulldog with the tail of a, of a, of an eel and the skin of a hairless cat. I mean, frankly, it's hideous, you're just, but it's, it's sort You're of just adorable. saying that because you know how <laughs> yeah, you know how popular those French bulldogs are now. I know, I know how this is going. Um, I'm gonna a get question: some hate. How does it, <laughs> how does it survive under that much pressure? Twenty-seven thousand feet underwater. That's insane. It is insane. So the reason that those organisms are capable of survival at such great depths is because they have no air pockets. They have no gases in their body. So they're made up entirely of water which is non-compressible, right? So as it goes down deeper, the pressure actually doesn't affect the fish because there is no gas to compress. If a human were to go down to that depth, our lung capacity would be, you know, tiny. I mean, like the, a pinhead, our lungs would just implode and be crushed. <laughs> Same with our skulls and other areas in our body that have gas pockets. But these fish actually don't have any air cavities or gas cavities in their entire bodies, allowing them to survive at such great depths. And Forrest, what else do we not know about the deepest parts of the sea right now? Uh, you know, what we don't know is that, is everything, quite frankly. You know, we humans have never been to such great depths. We've never seen much down that deep. So even just understanding that this fish is there, uh, that's, a, that's a breakthrough. And what else could be down there? Are there larger organisms? I see isopods in that video, which are large crustaceans that are free swimming in the back of that video. Um, what are the other species that are capable of life at such extreme temperatures and extreme depths and extreme pressure? And how that understanding could actually help us, you know, understand life in the universe? Because the deep sea is quite similar to the vacuum of space, really. So it helps us get a, gain a better understanding of how life could be out in the universe. <laughs> uh, now you're speaking my language. Uh, last question, <laughs> when are we going fishing? <laughs> yeah, let's go, Gotti. You tell me, man. We just, our company, Fantasticus, just did a whole deep sea thing with bruv cameras like this, filming deep sea creatures in South Africa. And the species down there are hard to picture. And I would love to take you with some time and show you what that looks like. Uh, but first, let's go off the coast of California, then maybe South Africa. It sounds great, that makes brother. Sense. Start with some simple fishing. I like that. I'm thinking big. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Forrest. Take care. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.